go unnoticed, baby. I'm with you, I'm with it. Uh. Rise and shine, beauties. Come with me as I show you all my morning routine and how I get ready for my day. So after I finally unbury myself from the covers, I like to start my day by just giving myself a little stretch, stretching my arms, stretching my back. And then I like to start my morning by reading my Bible. This really just ensures that I have a great start to my day and start on a positive note. What I love most about this Bible is the fact that it gives life points. So today's was about handling your relationships wisely and just the fact that it gives applications to apply to your life. And then furthermore, it's in this beautiful case that my grandmother got for me. And it just really ensures that I'm starting my day on the right foot. So after I read my Bible, I like to just go through and check my emails. Clearly there's nothing here but shopping things and I don't need to spend any more money. Ooh, let's see what Fashion Nova has. Mmm, bomb costumes. Okay, okay, okay. Back on track. <laughs> so I also, aside from checking my emails, I also like to just go onto my YouTube and just check my notifications, see all of my comments, all of my likes. And I also like to take this moment to respond to any comments from you all under my videos and get a chance to like or love all of your encouraging comments as well. And I just want to take a moment to shout out all the new subscribers in the building. Shout out to y'all. Let's keep it going. So after that, I go to Pandora and find a song to just start my day off and get me in the mood. So once my tunes are selected, it's time to move on to hygiene. So before I do anything else, I like to brush my teeth, can't forget that tongue, and also cannot forget to gargle. And once my breath is nice and fresh, it's time to move on to washing my face. So I like to wash my face with my African black soap. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my skincare routine. The link will be in the description box. So I really love this African black soap because it really just gives my face a nice clean and it also gives me a really nice glow after. Once I've scrub-a-dub-dubbed -dub all I can, it's time to rinse off the soap and dry off my face. And as you can see, my face is clear, it's shining. So now it's time to work out. I know that's kind of backwards, but I do wash my face twice in the mornings. Since I haven't been keeping up with my workouts as I should, I just kept it simple with some squats. So at first I like to start with just body weight squats. Then I like to do squats with a kickback. Next, I go on with my plie squats. If you're a ballerina, then you already know all about the plie. After my plie squats, I hit those squats with the side leg lifts. And then I'm going to finish up with my jump squats. These things right here ain't no joke. They about killed me. <laughs> now it's time to start breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm going to have oatmeal. I like to cook my oatmeal with milk because it leaves it creamier. Then I like to add a little vanilla to the mix. Give it a good little stir. And once the milk starts to boil, I like to add in my oats. I'm only using half a cup of oats because I'm running low, <laughs> but it does well. Um, and I also used one cup of milk. So one cup of milk to half a cup of oats. And then to give my oatmeal even more flavor, I'm gonna sprinkle in some cinnamon and give it a good little stir again. And once that cooks, oh, what do we have here? So <laughs> I also decided to bake some cinnamon rolls. Backwards, I know because I worked out, but it's okay. So we have our bomb cinnamon rolls with the oatmeal and I also added in some oranges just to give me a little fruit. And then while I'm eating my breakfast, I like to binge watch whatever TV show I'm watching. Right now it's Narcos. And also I like to deep condition my hair on Saturdays. So right now I'm using the silicone bamboo deep conditioner. It's supposed to be for moisture and so far it's really been leaving my hair moisturized. So I'm just going to apply that to my hair. I've divided my hair into four sections. Now I'm just going to apply the deep conditioner to each section. If you'd like a more detailed video of my deep conditioning routine, I will leave that video link in the description box as well. 
And I found that Saturdays are legit the best days to do my hair because it gives me a chance to just have the whole day to wash and deep condition my hair and just do whatever style I'm going to do to last me for the whole entire week. And after I apply all the deep conditioner to my hair, I also like to twist up the section just to retain as much moisture as I can. While my deep conditioner is sitting, I usually let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. I'm going to pick out my outfit for the day. So I'm going with some leggings and to match the leggings, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go to the back of my closet to the sweaters because it's getting a little cold in the A. It looks like this one will do and I love this sweater because it's really long at the back and it also has the little rips and I'm just really a biggie for details. <laughs> So now that I've showered and gotten dressed and everything, this is my outfit for the day. Something simple, something comfortable. And now it's time to tame this hair of mine. Okay, so I'm done with my hair. Don't judge the bonnet, it's got a set. Now it's time for makeup. So I'm first gonna start with my eyebrows. I'm going to use my spoolie to just brush and tame these brows. And then I'm going to take my brown pencil from Avon and just fill in my eyebrows. If you would like to see a detailed video of my eyebrow routine, I already recorded one and no worries, I got you. I will also include that link in the description box as well. After my eyebrows are filled in, I like to go back in with my spoolie and just blend that in. And then I like to go in with my lighter shade of concealer from Maybelline and just go under my eyebrows just to highlight and conceal any hairs that are out of place. And then I also like to go in with my darker concealer at the top of my brows. And then I'm just going to blend, baby, blend like my life depended on it. Next, it's time for foundation. Since I'm going for a more lighter makeup look, I'm just going to use my Mineralize Powder from MAC, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And can we just take a moment to appreciate these brows? Like, they came a long way from the beginning of this video. The transformation, honey, yes. Now I'm going back in with that lighter concealer and I'm just going to apply that to the bottom half of my concealing section. I'm not really a makeup guru so I don't really know the terms. Now I'm going to go in with that darker concealer and apply that to the top of my under eye concealer section. And then I'm just going to blend those colors together and blend with my beauty blender. 
I like going in with that lighter concealer on the bottom because I feel like it kind of gives my skin like a natural glow highlight look and I kind of dig it so I'm gonna keep rocking with it. Next, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to apply this brownish color to my eyelid. And then I'm going to take whatever makeup brush this is and just brush away any extra eyeshadow that fell onto my cheek. And now I'm going to go in with my mascara and apply that to my top and bottom lash. I like to apply my mascara like two to three times just to give my eyelash more of a definition. Now time for the funnest part to me, the lips. So I'm going to take my brown pencil and just line my lips. And for today's color, I'm going to do a little mix. So I'm first going to start with my MAC Peach Stock and I'm going to apply that to my lips first. And then I'm going to take my CoverGirl lip gloss that my mom gave me and put that on top of the lipstick. And voila, pucker up honey because the lips is popping. And this is all I'm going to do for my makeup today. I just wanted to do a simple, natural, everyday makeup look. So now I'm just going to take off my bonnet and take off my headscarf. For my hairstyle, I decided to do chunky twist. And I also filmed this, so expect a tutorial on this soon. And that pretty much sums up my get ready routine. I'm ready to hit the door. My hair is done. Makeup is on fleek. So that's about it. Besides the earrings, can't forget to put on earrings because that really just kind of finishes your entire look. Isn't it crazy how a little makeup and a little hairdo got you feeling yourself? Look at me just being extra. <laughs> so now I'm dressed, I'm ready to go. It's time to hit the streets and see what the A has to offer me today. So I'm going to go ahead and head out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Have a blessed day. Deuces.